I actually gave up my license um, uh, to be a clinician <clears throat> in part because I'm actually uh, this is I am deeply concerned about the institutionalization of health and mental health. OK. All right. So the issue we do not want this knowledge to be cloistered into a professional relationship alone, okay? This knowledge should not, should not be something that we should be like, oh, your therapist knows this, your mom should know this, you should know this, the school should know this, the community should know this, everyone should be wandering around. You don't need a licensed clinical psychologist to have a com MO flashlight, okay? Every system should know that we care, our heart needs relational value. Every system should know our head can attack a situation and a feeling system because we're trying to regulate our reputation. Everyone should know if you're temporarily neurotic, which means you'll have a high negative affect system, it's going to be harder to calm. And we're going to should bring a calm system to metabolize that. That should not be a doctoral level clinician knowledge. That should be sixth grader knowledge. Okay. And, and actually, we're unbelievably con confused about how to understand this. My kids went through all K through 12, all three of them, went through K through 12 public education, and I don't think they got an hour's worth of education on what an emotion is. What the, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I mean, we're having emotional crises, and we have 12 years to educate my kids, and you don't tell, you don't spend one damn hour telling them what emotion is? how to hold an emotion relative to your head, how to regulate it in relationship to other people when we could just tell them actually what you don't want to do is you want to triple negative neurotic loop that thing. You want a calm MO flashlight? That should be common knowledge. Yeah, I mean, that definitely resonates with me, this whole aspect of not being taught what are emotions, what are thoughts, how does the system work? How does it feed back on, on itself? And um, it, it also ties in with this idea of like, everybody should be their own psychologist. Like we should all study ourselves on that deep level and have that kind of understanding of the inner process and just like this basic experience that before we go out in the world and do anything else, you're dealing with emotions, you're dealing with thoughts on the very basic level. And that's very much neglected. I'm curious um, why you stepped away from of being a clinician is because did that somehow hamper down you being able to spread this knowledge and spread the system? Yeah, it's, it's a long, complicated story that uh, some of which some of which is not uh, you know I'd have to tell you some other time. Um, yeah. But the but a, a lot of it was I wanted to get into you talk philosophical coaching, so I've started you talk philosophical coaching. It's complicated to be a licensed clinical psychologist in relationship to that. Um, so that was one of the big motives. And the second motive is really also that I really wanted to make this shift explicit in people. Okay. And, and basically I used to be a huge critic, uh, of psychiatry. All right. So psychiatry was one of my, especially for neurotic conditions and managing kid behavior, the idea of throwing pills at shit with, and label them with, with medical kind of disorders. We went crazy on that stuff. And that was, and, and I, I want to hold psychiatry accountable for it, okay? I've gotten increasingly frustrated, quite frankly, with the institu my own institution, okay, psychology. Um, I grew up in it. I love it. I think it's super important. But the entire construction of psychology as an institution is something that I'm actually pissed off about, okay? And I think it's wrongly structured for the time. I think it's wrongly structured in the way it gives information to the culture. And I think this culture is digesting its material in problematic ways. Okay. Like once you learn COM MO, psychotherapy, I mean, it, then, then you shouldn't be on psychology today trying to get the latest little thing about something. In other words, psychology today, you can read, and I am a blogger. I love blogging on psychology today at one level. But you see all of this endless shit about the next five things for this and, you know, five things to gaslighting, blah, 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 man. And it's just this one little, you know, piece of information contextualized and another piece of information and another piece of information. And sure, some people can use that for utility. But when I look at sort of like, you're going to have to, you're going to give a la an average person, and I don't mean that pejoratively, just background knowledge, you come in and you're like, how am I supposed to fucking understand this? Okay. And this is very frustrating to me. It's like, we don't even know mindedness. <laughs> okay. We haven't even conveyed that you walk into the woods and when your kid at four says, oh, dad, look at the birds and the bees and knows instantaneously that they behave differently than the plants. We call that animal behavior rather than minded animals. 
right from the beginning. And now what is this us that makes us different and how do we actually relate to the world? Our entire system of knowledge, in my estimation, is essentially a strewn information formed by studies, formed by people's own definitional systems that actually create, in many ways, more chaotic, fragmented problems than they actually solve. So for me, part of my old mission here is like, hey folks, we're doing this entire institution wrong. I've gotten further and further away from the institution and basically waving over here going, I think we took a wrong turn 120 years ago. We should have done this 120 years ago. And if we had, a relationship with the mental health crisis would be radically different. If we just hand out Canamimo flashlights, you're in good shape. <coughs> that's like, a, that's a 90% of it consolidated. That's what we should be handing out, the consolidated core of what we know um, in a way that's clear.